All right, guys, we're going to cut to the chase a little bit here. As you can see, I've taken off the old exhaust system. Uh, the reason being, there were some kind of tolerable evenings this week uh, where I can get in the garage and get some stuff off and get started to prep the uh, new exhaust install. So, as I said, I've taken it off. Um, there's pictures of which I'm going to put up on the uh, uh, video anyway, which you'll see how that was before. It actually sounded pretty good. It was a Bubs Jugs. Bubs Jug Hugger exhaust system. It was just appearance. It was corroding. It was dinged and dented. Previous guy uh, didn't really take very good care of the bike. Uh, in fact, if you look closely in here, right where the exhaust mounts, you see a copper uh, crush washer. Well, on both sides here and there, uh, they they were missing. So the guy installed the last system without cross washers, so a bit of a corner cutter, that guy. Uh, I know some systems don't require them, but for sure I know that uh, this system does. So uh, again, corner cutting, never a good thing. So I, I thankfully bought new cross washers to get this project started. But um, anyway, enough of that, let's move on. Um, I'm gonna try and do this bits and pieces here and uh, kind of jump ahead, but if you have a VTX 1800, hopefully this will be of help to you. Right here is the regulator bracket. It's that black bracket there. It comes in the kit and you take off the old regulator bracket, which is over here, which is, which is actually part of the old um, system, the whole uh, stock system, which is a couple of mounting bolts and the regulator bracket. This bracket down here actually replaces that. So uh, what you have to do is take the stock bolts out of the regulator and mount them into here. It's already uh, threaded, it has nuts attached. So um, easy to go. And then you're gonna mount this to the frame right here, like that. And then there's a bolt that I'm gonna put through here and set the camera down and get on it. You can see this, here's the uh, rectifier bracket. I'm going to put the bolt through there. This is supplied hardware, locking washer. And fingers and thumbs, and just the nut on the back. This is a 14 millimeter nut and bolt. Snug it up good. I don't have a torque wrench. The torque specs are online for, for the VTX. So if you're interested in that, just go online and look. But I'm just giving it a good snug up. Never had anything fall off. So anyway, there's that bracket mounted. Now, again, I hope you're getting this. The uh, bottom bolt here is going to hold the new muffler bracket or exhaust bracket. So right here, I'm gonna place that. Bolt's already in place. This is a, a 70 millimeter socket for this. Everything's metric on a Honda. Well, it's called a metric, I suppose. Small torque, small torque, small torque, rhubarb, rhubarb. Right. Sorry if I'm losing, losing audio. I'm turning away from the mic. I didn't want to bring a separate mic out here just for this project. I'll try and boost it later. Oops, wrong one. So anyway, here we go. <clears throat> As I say, one grunt. So, as you can see, we have 
bracket on. I, I, I hope the sunlight, it's nice to have sunlight. I'm sitting in the sun here. Got a sweatshirt on, loving it. So there's the bracket, all mounted. Uh, coming up over this side, I've removed the foot peg hardware. And there's two reasons for doing that. One is you obviously need to do it for the exhaust, but also because I'm replacing the stock foot pegs. This is a Kuriakin. I mentioned on my inside video, a Kuriakin uh, foot peg that I bought to replace a couple of junk ones that I bought online um, from Amazon, actually. Um, this is a nice, nice, nice peg, but I'm going over the floorboard, so I won't be using it. So I may sell it, just putting it in a box, maybe for a rainy day or something. But uh, yeah, I'm taking all this off, ready to do that part of the project. So we're going to go to the table and get the exhaust system out. All right, so now we're on the uh, exhaust pipe itself. And this is the uh, mounting bracket that goes to the, um, or the mounting support, whatever you want to call it, that goes to the bracket I just put on the bike. And here is a fiddly little, little slider bracket here. This is all supplied. You have to worry about anything. This is going to go inside here. And then I'm going to set this on the bike and the bolts. These bolts will go through the mounting bracket into this slider. Very simple, very straightforward. And let's get it over to the bike. All right, so let's get this mounted in here. It's, it's, it's not easy, this is not easy stuff. It really does help to have two people, especially if you don't want to scratch this crap up like I'm doing. Two little studs, both ways. I've got a two by four at the back of the bike, they're just holding it off the floor. Put one of these stainless steel nuts on just spin it just get it started now the bottom one is a very very tricky operation this is again where it really would help to have two people to be perfectly honest but here we are not to be today All right, so we're back. Here we are. I uh, did have a little bit of a problem. I don't know if you can, yeah, you probably can now. See that bolt right there? Actually a nut, sorry, excuse me. It's a nut on a stud that's actually into the, the head. <sighs> that, that stud just wouldn't start. And I think it must be slightly stripped from years gone by. So I was able to get it to work and uh, get enough of a decent thread on there now where I could tighten this nut up. Which everything's still loose at the moment, as you can see. This one's set in place, ready to go. I'm not gonna put the uh, original acorn nuts back on because I think they're the problem. Because looking at them and they're very, uh, very mashed up inside. I think the guy used brute force or wrong torque settings or whatever. So anyway, back down to this bracket. As you can see, everything is, yeah, if you can see it, yeah, there you go. They're actually inside that sliding bracket that I showed you earlier. Yeah, this big bolt that's down under the pipe. There you go, that one there. Ta-da. That is also loose. And they do say don't tighten anything down. And they're right. 
because if you do that you're going to be fighting with it so wait till everything is set in place all the bolts are and, and nuts are spun on and then start thinking about tightening it down which we are going to do now I'm not going to film it you know how to tighten a nut and bolt so i'll be back in a minute okay so now we're going to be dealing with the um, lower exhaust pipe and this is the one that's got that nice sweeping curve in it which i'm really uh, excited about because that's how the original stock pipes looked sliding bracket is going to go in there and then when we get over to the frame we will uh, do the same thing again hopefully without uh, as much fuss as i had with the last one might have to bleep out a couple of words again but oh well such is working in the shop or the garage in my case so anyway i'm gonna set this one up on the bike and continue the install process we are getting there but i tell you what look how beautiful a day it is out there it's about 50 degrees i'd say and nice and sunny okay so we're looking pretty good apart from i dropped one stainless nut in the frame somewhere and i'm gonna have to run to the hardware store and get one but if you can see that there's one here installed and underneath and that's really hard to see with the uh, well anyway there's that oh there you go there's that acorn nut there that I don't want on so I'm going to go and run to the hardware store and switch that out for another one and down here the top system is in place again these are both loose they're both um, in need of adjustment but boy I don't know I just like that sweep right there around the crankcase so uh, yeah I think it looks really nice gonna run to the hardware store real quick I grab myself a um, yeasty beverage and uh, come up, tighten everything down, finish the project up. See you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm very happy to say the exhaust system is installed. Going down onto the pipe, you see Cobra. Very happy. I mean, what a beautifully, beautifully engineered and built piece of equipment that is. It's uh, considered a slash cut exhaust it's got that nice curved pipe that i was looking for get away from the original one or that i say the original one it's just the one that was installed when i bought the bike still got to do the floorboards yet but headers everything's nice and tight very important point here that you do need to wipe down the exhaust before you start the bike they recommend a metal polish to do it i used uh, soap and water first and then um, went over with uh, Meguiar's actually. Here it is right here for you to look at. Got this off of Amazon. Nice stuff. I've used it before. Good stuff. So anyway, I say we're ready to give it a, a fire up. What do you think? I agree with you. Come on, let's go and do it. <clears throat> This is the GoPro that's recording the audio, so it's not probably not going to sound as sharp as if I was using a um, plug-in mic, a more uh, decent mic, decent quality mic. But let's fire it up and see how she sounds. Pretty much concludes the install video for the Cobra slash cut exhaust. I had a few moments there, but boy, <laughs> sounds and looks great. Hope it's some use to you. Cheers and take care.